everyone. Today we are going to learn about a wonderful lesson. What is the lesson is about the animals in our environment. Yes, the sixth lesson in grade 7 science, animal diversity. Animal diversity. What is diversity? Diversity means differences, variations. So look at your environment. You can see the number of different different animals. But what are the animals you can see? You can see the dogs, cats, and spiders, and what are the, and birds. The number of birds, different birds, crows, parrots, magpies, and also elephants, frogs, and their snakes. And what about the fish? The different types of fish. Dolphins, whales, tunas, and catfish, starfish. There are a number of animals you even we can't count. Yes. So, today in this lesson, we are going to talk about the differences about these animals. So, you can see there are a number of differences. The color is different and the size and also the mode of nutrition and the mode of locomotion there are so many differences so in this lesson we are going to learn about these differences so it is difficult to name and identify and about studying these animals because they are different so these animals are divided into groups because it is easy to name when we are group when we are divided into groups it is easy to name isn't it then we can easily identify these animals and we can study easily about these animals by grouping now let's talk about what are these groups the scientific classification is important in grouping animals so think about the human skeleton in your laboratory so you cannot go now so you can turn to page number 73 73 that's a human skeleton this is human skeleton so observe this human skeleton that is a central line of bones this is the central line of bones we call it backbone. What is? We call it backbone. The central line of bones. Backbone. There are so many bones in the skeleton. So there is a central line. We call it backbone. So you have a backbone. Touch, touch your back. You can feel the backbone. There is a backbone in your back. Um, so some animals have this backbone and some animals have not this backbone. So basically, the animals are divided into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. So vertebrates mean the animals with backbone. Animals which have backbone is vertebrates. So human, we are vertebrates because we have a backbone. Invertebrates are the animals without backbone. The animals which do not have backbone. They are invertebrates. So basically we have divided the animals into two groups. What are the groups? Vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates and invertebrates. 
Uh, can you tell me some examples of vertebrates and invertebrates? So, now you have write the list of animals you can see in your environment, in your home garden. And you have to divide them into two groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Now, look at your textbook. Page number 74, you can see the skeletons of vertebrates. Look at the skeleton. Skeleton of fish. That's the backbone. That's the central line. And the frog. That is a central line of bones. And also skeleton of ostrich. Here also a backbone. Skeleton of elephant. That is a backbone. And skeleton of crocodile. You can see that is a backbone. So these animals have a backbone. And also, what are the animals which do not have a backbone? Uh, so many worms, earthworms, and butterflies, spiders, and snail, beetle, and leech, crows, they have a backbone. So, you have to identify the animals which have backbones and which have, have a backbone. These are some examples for vertebrates and invertebrates. So look at here. Human, elephant, frog, crow, crocodile, and dolphin. Those are the examples for vertebrates. And these are some examples for invertebrates. Leech, snails, spiders, worm, and bivalve. These are the examples for invertebrates. Invertebrates mean the animals which do not have a backbone. Vertebrates mean the animals which have a backbone. Okay. Now, um, turn to page number 75. Assignment 6.2. That's a... Uh, the seashore. There are some animals living in the seashore and there are some animals living in the sea. And there are, the, there are 10 names of the animals. You have to divide these animals into two groups. What are the two groups? Vertebrates and invertebrates. You have to do it at home. So, think about the vertebrates. Vertebrates can be further divided into main five groups. So these are the main five groups. Look at these groups. Fish, birds, amphibians, mammals and reptiles. I think you have heard these words. Fish you all know. The aquatic animals you know. Those are, we call those fish, uh, dolphins, tunas, and whales, uh, shark, they are fish. Then, birds, do you know about birds? There are a lot of birds in your environment. They are the flying animals we call the birds. Parrots, crows, kingfishers, there are a lot of birds. Then, amphibians. What are the amphibians? The animals which can live both in land and also water. What are those animals? They can live both water and the land. Mostly frogs. They can live both land and water. And the toads and salamander. Okay. Turn to page number 76. There are the pictures of a lot of animals. Which can be root and mammals. What are the mammals? They are nourished with milk. The animals nourished with milk. So we are mammals, no? We feed milk by our mother. So the female animal of the mammals have mammary glands. And the females are feed 
to the kids by giving milk. Those are the mammals. So we are mammals. Then reptiles. What are the reptiles? They are creeping animals. They are creepers. What are the creepers? Mostly snakes and crocodiles, gecko. Those are the reptiles. Okay, there are five main groups. We can divide the uh, vertebrate animals into five main groups. These are the five main groups and you have to know the examples and who are the animals. Okay, now you have to do activity 6.1. Turn to page number 77 in your textbook. Mm, what is this one? This is a picture of forest. So, in this forest, there are a lot of different, different animals. So, look at carefully in this picture. There's a human also. Human. And there's lions, spiders. Oh, a lot of animals and tigers also. And owl, and bees, giraffe, snakes. A lot of animals. So, you have to... Look at carefully in this picture and you have to divide these animals into two groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. So, uh, do this activity, it is very easy.